Hello, everybody. Today is the 21st of July. Um, it is the 37th birthday of my firstborn son, Doug, and Doug Jr. And I want to wish you happy birthday, honey. I love you so much. Today I am in my uh, nursery pasture where we where we have our goats when they're going to deliver. I am using their stall, their nursery stall, to um, put some hay in for the winter. And because I don't plan on having anybody breed this fall for next year. We've got so much work we have to do to um, improve their housing and we don't need any more extra work for next year. So I wanted to show you what I'm working on and, you know, just get this done and out of the way. We have rain coming in a couple of days and we were given some hay by uh, my husband's sister-in-law's um, employer, T.C. Massey, thank you very much for the hay, that they bailed last year, and they needed to get rid of it in order to get some more hay baled for this, for to sell for next year or this year. Anyway, so thank you so much for that. It will help with our, with our goats, and I want to, you know, get this done and over with before it rains. I have, I do have a mask. Only because the allergies, just bailing the hay over a two-day period, messing with it, it, it just destroyed our, our, our bodies. <laughs> the allergies went crazy. So I have the mask and I have some glasses to wear so that I can try to protect myself as much as I can in that area because I don't want to spend another day hurting, having to take a lot of uh, Claritin and my eyes burning. It's crazy. Anyways, let me show you what I've got done so far, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're in the nursery yard pasture. This side is over here. On the other side of my wall is where the does, um, that's their yard. And down through here, straight down to that other set of metal, is half of a 50... 50 foot by 300 foot uh, long pasture that we have kept goats in here for breeding and uh, you know just separation. The other half where that housing is is going to be where our turkeys are. We've got some freezer bird turkeys over there now, bronze breasted, and as soon as they're processed next month and and that's cleaned up, then I've got some Spanish black turkeys over here hanging out with the chickens. And this will be for the chickens. But this is the housing that I did for uh, as the nursery yard housing. This has been where our does have uh, been giving birth the last couple years. And we wanted to get it set up for um, some hay. It's not probably going to hold very much, but it'll hold enough for now. But we, I spent the morning getting this much done on it to keep the hay off the ground so it doesn't get wet. And then once we get the hay in, we'll put a tarp over the hay or maybe on top of the, of the roof. I have gone through in the past and like here, caulked holes to, to keep the rain out. I don't know if I've gotten it all very much, but I'm gonna have to, you know, look through it again. Hello, precious. You turn your eyes at me. This is my milking goat, Precious. She's a Kiko Nubian. We're getting off the subject at the moment. I wanted to show you my girls. Look at my herd. That's some of them. And the rest are over in there. I had a lot more, but you know, there's some tragedy that happened. These are offspring. The majority are offspring of the, of the ones who um, didn't survive last year. Anyways, so they're going to be watching what I'm doing and she'll be probably screaming once in a while because she wants to be milked and have some grain and I haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so I'm going to, whoops, sorry, get started on this. Go back over here. So as you can see, the clouds are coming in. Like I said, we got rain supposed to come in the next couple of days and... Look at those pretty boys and girls. They're, all right, my hands. 
These are my breeders. Beautiful, aren't they? So this is the hay that we've got to move. Some will go in the nursery yard um, housing, and then some might go back over in here where I had some last year, and I'll just have to put a tarp over it. And then I've got hay over here to move. I got one section that on this side um, that's covered that will be for the flooring because in their in their stalls because it's um, got some mold and mildew and dirt and stuff. So anyways, let me get started. Please pardon the messes out here. We plan on burning this again and all this is going in a dumpster at the, in the fall when we get the money together. But all right, let me get started.
Okay, I have to take a break because I'm hot. I can't breathe. Oh, and this here, get back. I can show you the final when I'm done. I'm almost done. I've got six bells left to do, and I'm going to show you what I've got done so far. Hopefully you can see it. I know it was dark. When I reviewed what I've recorded so far, it was dark to see. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see what I've done so far. This is what I've got done so far. Not bad. About 28 bells total will fit in here. I've got six more to go. That'll get me started for the winter and make it easier for me to get it to the does and the bucks. The rest I will probably store in our big barn up that we have further back on the property. But um, yeah, this is what I've got left to do. I've got my truck over there. I'm going to load it up and sorry for the shaking, get it loaded up and get this done so I can get the rest moved to uh, another location. What's the matter, Harley? Are you hot, boy?
that bale that I just brought back has um, some dirt and mold on it. And I don't want that in with the others because the goats can't have that. It's, you know, deadly. Anyways, um, when I do put it in their housing for their flooring, I'll make sure that that part is gone because I know they're going to eat some of this and I don't want them to get sick. So I got one more bale I got to find to put over and then this nursery yard stall is done. And then I'm going to move everything back over there and get it loaded in. So let me look for one more. Gee, sorry. Well, let me look for one more bale and I'll be done with this.
boy. Let me show you. It is empty. Hi, ladies. I know, baby. Hit this fool. Oh, God, that feels good to be done. Okay, so I have still more to put away, but this is full. I'm happy with this. I'm going to go back and take a break. Wash my face again. Look at my babies. This is my milking doe's daughter. And that is Sage. It's her daughter. She had two girls. Actually, she's the one who had the three, three babies this year. One is a buck. Willie, he's out with the bucks. Hangs with his daddy. The little white one over here is her other daughter. And that black one is her niece. That's Beauty. Beauty's mama died last year with some other goats because of dogs. But they are uh, the black one. All of them are Nigerian. But this one and her babies and Beauty are a mixture of Kiko and Nubian and um, Nigerian. And my milking doe, Precious, the one scratching herself, she is Kiko Nubian. Everybody else is a mixture of Nigerian and Nubian. Good girls. I miss the others very much. But what can you do when you have people who don't keep their dogs in their yards and they don't have to? So, you know, cattle ranchers and goat owners and sheep owners, we pay the price for that. So I'm done. I'm going to go inside and see how everybody's doing here real quick. This is inside. You can't really see too much, but it's dark. I This is my creation. I needed something, so I built it. It's on a foundation. At least this half is. And then they can roost in here. And they have this yard back here. And I've got it covered. And that's what I'm going to do to the turkey yard way down there, is put up these U-posts. I bought some more. I attach them to the T-post, make it higher, put wire on the sides. And then we're thinking of getting uh, the bird netting like they use in the zoos for, let me turn this around. Okay, maybe you can see me. Oh, anyways, we're planning on using, um, buying some bird netting that they like they use in the zoos to keep birds in to go on the pasture that's, you can't see it from here. And I can't figure out the direction. For the turkeys because I don't want the turkeys flying out and I don't want to have to catch them and clip their wings every two or three weeks because they're going to be too big and from past experience I'm the one who gets cut up a lot you should my body is just full of cuts and sores and from working in animals anyway so I'm done for the day on that the hay is good to go I've got this section Let's see if I can show you that's covered in the tarp still to do. We'll probably take that up to the um, the barn, the big metal barn. It's a ways away from here. And then this other section over here has loose hay and hay that's got mold and dirt on it for bedding so I'm not worried about that I will put the loose hay somewhere where it can still be used because I don't want to waste it if I don't have to um, but otherwise I'm done I'm drained I'm gonna go wash off and find some lunch you guys have a great day and be sure to like and subscribe I'm trying to do more videos 
It's really hard if my husband's helping because he doesn't want to be on camera. So I'm trying to respect that, but I'm trying to put something out. Anyways, have a great day. Happy birthday to my son. Again, I love you so much. And TC Massey, thank you. Also, I made a mistake when I first said my husband's sister works for TC. So she's, he's, he's the one who gave us the hay. Thank you so much, TC. God bless you all. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.